like the Bulls are desperate to get off of him. The Bulls are desperate to make moves, period. I don't know what's going on with Chicago because to get out of Caruso out of Chicago and not get any of the picks from OKC, who has 424 picks, nasty work. Zach Levine, possible destination for him. <laughs> Greg, you want to start? <laughs> I was like, I don't know where it is. I don't know where he's going. I was gonna um, say the big three, but that's petty. He can still, right, you see, yes, that is so. He can play. Still a really good player. Okay, it's not about his quality of play, and that's not why this is. This is not the why they're in the situation that they're in with him. He's had some injuries. Obviously, and they look the, the the Bulls are in an idiotic franchise and ran by fools, and they don't know which way to go. That think they're trying to rebuild, but then you go make a trade for Josh Giddy and get no draft picks when you lose Caruso when you could have had a top ten pick for him or whatever or a lottery pick for him. So the Bulls are poorly ran. Uh, Zach Levine's contract is unappealing to the NBA clearly because if he if it wasn't, he'd be traded already. All right, and I get it. Like he's old, he's aging, he's aging, and. He's had some injuries, so I understand the concerns teams have. But when he's out there on the floor, he looks amazing. One of the better two guards in the NBA. Um, I don't know who takes that risk. I think teams are being very conservative because of the new cap structure now, too, and, you know, the second apron and first apron and all, all that stuff works. So because of that, you're not seeing teams jump the gun. I think I think before this new cap structure kicked in, he would have been traded already. I really do believe that. I think that you don't want to take on that cap hit for a guy who you're not sure – is going to play is going to be super effective and and he's going to play most of the games that you have him for also you know another example of that is why i think the clippers don't want to pay paul george it's the same logic i just think they're they don't want to get to that apron for a guy who has missed games and has come up short in the playoffs and come up small they don't want to do the same thing right it's not working um so i understand their logic but with him with zach levine i, I look i i've said this a million times and now it's off the table, but I would have loved for a Caruso and, and Zach Levine package to have been something that a team pulled off. Now it can't happen. Um, so when you look at teams, I think the Kings might get desperate enough that they miss on Kuzma. If Kuzma's traded and he doesn't go anywhere but the Kings, the Kings could make that decision and go after him because Darren Fox is holding out over there now and on holding his signing his extension, his rookie extension, I believe, or the next extension he has lined up because he wants to see the direction of the team and see what they do. So because of that, you're probably look, you're looking at a situation where they're, look, they're clearly looking to upgrade, they're clearly looking to make a, uh, a move forward. Um, and I, I think that they're on the table, right? But there aren't many suitors. If I, We would be lying if we sat here and gave you like four or five teams. That's not the way this thing really looks, right? He, he, the only few places you can really go. And the Bulls are going to have to event, maybe pay to get off of him at some point. Is that where we're headed? Even though he's a good player, I, I will stand on that. 